Be bold, be strong, love loud, be triumphant. Be bold, be strong, love loud, be triumphant.
we just want to say we're grateful. We just want to say we're grateful. Hallelujah. 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 We are thankful, God. We are thankful, God, that you are the chief cornerstone. On Christ the solid rock we stand this morning. For all other ground is sinking sand. My hope is built in nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. Hallelujah. Is anybody's hope built on him this morning? Just lift your hands and bless him. We bless you, God. We lift you up, oh God. We magnify your name, Jesus. We bless your name, Jesus. We love you and adore you. My hope is built. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' heart and righteousness. I did not. I dare not trust the sweetest phrase, but only trust, but only trust in Jesus' name. My hope is built this morning. My hope, my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood, than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest way, but holy trust in Jesus' name. But holy trust in Jesus' name. For His Christ alone, Christ alone, cornerstone, we faith strong in the same.
heat shall come with trumpets sound. When he shall come with trumpets sound. Oh, may I then? Oh, may I then in him be found. Dressed in his righteousness alone. Dressed in his righteousness alone. Oh, faultless stand. Faultless stand before the throne. His Christ alone, Christ alone, Christ alone. Just in his righteousness alone, for the stands before the throne. Jesus, Jesus, when he shall come with trumpet sound, oh, may I then in him be found. Dressed in his righteousness alone, faultless stands before the throne. He's Christ alone, the cornerstone, weak made strong in the Savior's love. Through the storm, he is Lord, Lord of all. He's Christ alone, the cornerstone, weak made strong in the Savior's love. And through the storm, he is Lord, he's Lord of all. Hallelujah. 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 This morning we look to our Christ. We 
look to our cornerstone. We look to our Alpha and Omega. We look to the Lord of all this morning. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you in the name of Jesus, just thanking you for another opportunity to come before your throne. Just another chance, oh God, to bask in your presence, oh Lord. Oh God, as we have the service this morning and as our speaker comes, oh God, to minister the word, we ask, oh God, that you touch her from the crown of her head to the very sole of her feet, God. And we pray, God, that you use her mightily, oh Lord, that every word that you will have her say, God, have it saturate the hearts of your people this morning. Hallelujah. We pray, God, that this word, oh God, may not just be for today or for tomorrow or to last us throughout the week, oh God, but have this word, oh God, be in our hearts, be implanted in our hearts, be imparted in our hearts, God, that we may not forget it, oh God, and apply it to our lives daily. God, we look to you and we believe in you, oh God, for a word that will bring refreshing. We look to you, O oh God, for a word that will bring restoration. We look to you, God, for a word that will bring hope. We look to you, God, for a word that will bring peace. And God, we know that you are able to do all things exceedingly and abundantly. So we put a praise on it this morning, and we give you all glory, and we give you all honor, and we give you all praise. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to the most high God. Christ alone, cornerstone. Is he your cornerstone today? Let us praise the name of the most high God. Let us lift up the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, Corona didn't take my praise, glory to God. It tried, glory to God, but God is still good. Praise God, and I'm grateful and I'm thankful that God is good. And let the people of God join me in praising the Most High God. Hallelujah, for He's worthy of praise. He is 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 worthy of glory. He is worthy of honor. Hallelujah, He is worthy from the rising of the sun. Until the going down of the same God is worthy. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We honor you, God. For you are worthy of praise. You are worthy of glory. You are worthy of honor. And we call you Abba, our Father who art in heaven. We call you Abba, oh, the good shepherd of the sheep. We call you Abba, but you are our Father. Hallelujah, our Redeemer. Hallelujah, light in darkness. Miracle working God. We praise you this morning. We give you glory this morning. We exalt you this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to the Most High God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We praise his holy name. We lift up the holy name of Jesus. Praise God. I'm grateful to God. And the theme of our prayer has been grateful and thankfulness. And because I'm grateful and I'm thankful, I will give him praise. I will give him praise from a grateful and a thankful heart. Because he has done great things for me. We're off, I'm glad, and because I'm glad today, whenever I enter into his house, it's no other reason but to give him praise. There's so many things that prevents me from coming. Sickness prevents me from coming. Us issues prevents me from coming. So when I get the victory to come, hallelujah. When I get the victory to come, hallelujah. I'm gonna praise 
praise him. I'm going to worship him. I'm going to give him glory. I'm going to shout about it because I'm thankful. I am grateful that God kept me. Hallelujah to God. God kept me. Saints of God, God kept me. Corona tried to take me out, but God kept me. Glory to God, sickness trying to take me out, but God is keeping me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because he's keeping me, I have a right to praise him. I have a right to give him glory. I have a right to worship. When I enter into this gates with thanksgiving, I will enter into his gates with thanksgiving. I will enter into his courts with praise. I will be thankful unto him and I will bless his name. I will bless his name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let me greet you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm a soon coming king of glory. Hallelujah. Greet your saints. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. I was soon coming king of glory. He's coming soon. He's coming back again. He went away not to stay, but he's coming back again. Praise God. Let me not forget protocol. Today's Father's Day. And I want to greet all the wonderful fathers and fathers-to-be and those who double on the role as father and mother. I want to greet you and exalt you in the exalted name of Jesus. I want to greet my man of God, Bishop McLeod. I thank God and I bless God for him. Praise God. He's been a rock and a staple, a wonderful father to my children. And I bless God that God has placed them in my life. Praise the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, Pastor Richards, in his absence, we greet him in Jesus' name. Uh, Pastor Watson and Pastor Jillian David. Pastor David Lindsay, deacons, evangelists, saints of Christ, I greet you. Visiting friends, I greet you in the holy and exalted name of Jesus. Praise God. God is good. God is truly good. Praise God. I'm happy to be in the house of God. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise his holy name. Praise God. Praise God. I'm called to speak. Hallelujah. Pastor Watson, I'm here. Glory to God. Glory to the most high God. I'm just going to share with you. Praise God. I'm going to talk with you. Praise God. I know I speak fast, so I'm going to try my best, my endeavor best to slow down. Praise God. So if you pray with me, praise God and pray for me. Praise God that the word of God will go forth. Not my word. Not my word. If I had my way, I would just praise. If I had my way, Praise God. I would just praise. I love to praise. Do I love to preach? That's another story. But I do love to praise him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I am vaccinated, fully vaccinated, so don't be weary. Praise God. And all the restrictions have been lifted from the pandemic. Praise God. So we can relax a little bit. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the, and with the mask on, our voices are muffled. Our faces are not recognized with the mask on. So I'm so happy that we're coming to the point we can ditch these masks and say goodbye to them. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. We're coming to that point. But before I read the scripture, we want to be mindful that we've been shut down and locked in, locked away for almost two years, a year and a half. Praise God. But when we come into the house of the Lord, 
Praise God, let us rejoice in our God. Praise God. The millions of people that have died around us, left, right, and center, minute by minute, seconds by second, but we're still here. And it's for purpose, a divine purpose. We may not understand at this point. We may not know at this point. But trust me, saints, God has kept us alive for such a time as this. Praise God. You rest on your feet with me, musicians. I celebrate you. I greet you in Jesus' name. Uh, rest on your feet with me. I will be reading from St. John's 15 until the 16th verse. St. John 15. Rest on your feet if you are able to. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Amen. Praise God. I speak soft and fast. What a bad combination. But anyhow, anyhow. I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes it, that he may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, and you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, bears much fruit. For without me, he can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered. And they gather them and throw them into the fire, and they are burnt. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it should be done for you. By this, my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit so you will be my disciples. As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandment. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friend. You are my friends if you do whatever I command. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all things that I heard from my father, I have made known to you. Verse 16 and stopping. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. The 17, these things I command you, that you love one another. This is the word of the Lord, and our hearts say amen, amen, and amen. Praise God. In St. John, throughout the book of St. John, Jesus was preparing his departure, and he was preparing his disciples for his departure, because he knew that when he departed, as he said, grievous wolves will come in, praise God, to scatter the sheep. <clears throat> he knows that the sheep will be scattered. He knows as human will be, we will be frightened, we will be disheartened, we will be dejected, we will be at loss, because now our father, our shepherd, the one who has been with us and has nurtured us and mentored us is n will no longer be here. So Jesus, knowing what the emotions, the gamut of the emotions that they may experience, he started to sit down and to minister to them. And he <clears throat> gave them a few I am's. And this is the last of the I am statement 
praise God of Christ recorded in the Gospel of John. In this chapter, Jesus uses the analogy of the branches and friend. These two pictures of the believer, branches and friend, reveal both our privileges and our responsibilities. As branches, we have the privilege of sharing his life and the responsibility of abiding. As friend, we have the privilege of knowing his will, praise God, and the, praise God, responsibility of obeying, praise God. As branches, we must abide in the vine. He was very specific in speaking of the branch, the vine, and the vine dresser. The vine is Jesus. He said, I am the true vine. Praise God. And we have a living relationship to Christ, and we belong to him. He further goes on to say, the branch of itself is useless. He said, except he abide in me, you can do nothing. Praise God. As branch, we are useless. So it is important that we abide in the vine. Praise God. Branch is either good for bearing or burning, but not for building. We need the vine, and Jesus is the true vine. Jesus admonishes the disciples to abide in the vine. In this chapter alone, he used the word abide 11 times. He wanted to make a statement. He wanted to make a point. He wanted to rivet it in their heads to get it in. You are the branch. I am the uh, vine. Abide in me. Even though I will be leaving, I will be crucified, I have to go back to my father. But you can still abide in me. And as Jesus made the statement and... <clears throat> repeated it. Praise God. It's for us today to know that we, praise God, praise God, can abide in the vine. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. 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 To abide is to keep fellowship with Christ. Jesus, so that he can work in us and through us to produce good fruit. Praise God. The abiding relationship is natural to the branch. Praise God. When you look at a tree, a tree is not really a fully a tree unless it has branches. Praise God. It has to have branches. Praise God. In the vine, it must be cultivated in, a, in the Christian life. That abiding relationship, it's not automatic. Praise God. We have to feed it. We have to nurture it. Praise God for it to develop. Just like the, the tree, praise God, it has its root. Praise God, it gets the nutrient from the root. Praise God, and it, it extends to the branches. And from the branches, then it produces fruit. And so it is. God is our root. He's our rock. Praise God. And, and Jesus is the, uh, the vine. Praise God, and we are the branches. So as he received from the Father, praise God, he pours into us. Praise God, and we can grow. Praise God, praise God. So abiding in Christ, glory to God, demands worship. Praise God, worship. Praise God, true worship. Praise God, as the scripture said, praise God, the hour is. Praise God, and the Father seeketh such. He's seeking true worshiper. Praise God, who has worshipped the Father in spirit and in truth. There's a lot of people worshipping today. Praise God, they're worshipping this. They're worshipping the sun, the moon. Praise God, they're worshipping the color of the cows. Praise God, they're worshipping the pig. They won't eat pig. They won't eat cow because they're worship. They consider it sacred. But our God, praise God, we worship the true and living God. And he demands our worship. He commands our worship. And he deserves our worship. Praise God for what he has done for us. For where he has brought us through, he deserves our worship worship. Praise God. Praise God. So that abiding relationship, praise God, demands worship. Praise God. Meditation on God's word. As he said to Joshua, 
praise God, to read his word day and night, study it day and night, meditate upon it day and night. Praise God, in, in this you will have good success. Praise God, so we cannot leave out the word. We cannot leave out the worship because we need it for the abiding relationship in Jesus Christ. Prayer, men are always to pray and not to faint. Prayer can never be too much. Praise God, praise God. Men are always to pray. Glory to God and not to faint. Sacrifice and service. Praise God. Sometimes we don't feel like doing it. But because it's God that's asking me to do it. Praise God, I will do it. Sometimes I want the flesh said I want to sleep. But because God is waking me up and say, go pray. Go worship. Go read. Go study. I got to do it. I may be on the, praise God, my social media praise. And that consumes so much of our time. It's good, but it's also devilish. Praise God. It's good because it connects you and you get information right away. So that's good. Praise God. But it's also devilish because it consumes so much of your time. And before you know it, you're sitting down hours, hours, social media. Praise God. And it takes away, praise God, from what God wants you to do. Imagine the time that we spend on social media. If we spend that time in the word, if we spend that time in prayer, praise God, Jesus often retreated by himself to pray. Praise God. And when he was in the garden of Gethsemane, he prayed so hard. And if Jesus can pray and pray so hard, and he is God the Son, what about us? Praise God, what about us? Praise God, when we can't even see night from day, what about us? So that abiding relationship demands sacrifice and service. We must cultivate a deeper communion with Christ. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless his holy name. Stay with me, church. Praise God. I don't have any new word to share with you, but I'm just encouraging you, encouraging you today in the name of Jesus. The vine dresser is in charge of caring for the vine. Jesus said that this, this is the work of my father. It is God who prunes and purges the branches so that they will produce more fruit. Praise the name of Jesus. Do you want to bear fruit for Jesus today? Hallelujah. It's just not enough to come, praise God, to church on Sunday. Praise God to attend prayer on Wednesday. Praise God and not to bear fruit. Glory to God. It is for us as believers to let the Spirit of God prune us, to let the Spirit of God purge us, to let the work of God be done in our lives so that we can produce fruit. Praise God. And guess what? The fruit is not for us. It is not for us. The fruit that you are and I are called to produce, it's not for us. It's for the world, that the world may see the God in us, the light of God in us, and be drawn to the light. Praise God. This world is upside down. I don't know about you, but the world, have you seen, have you noticed? This world is upside down, topsy-turvy. They need light. They need fruit. Glory to God from your branch, from my branch. They need the fruit that we produce so that they can taste and see that the Lord is good. Hallelujah. And the scripture said, blessed is the man that trusted in him. They need to taste your fruit. Hallelujah. They need to taste my fruit. They need to know that the God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Sometimes he cuts away the dead wood. Uh, some dry branches he cuts it away. Uh, my God in heaven. Uh, that, that causes trouble. Some dry branch in our lives. Uh, that causes trouble at times. That causes us to miss the mark. Uh, our attitudes sometimes, my God. Our emotions, uh, our anxieties and our fears. Uh, uh, he cuts those dryness away. That, oh, that causes trouble. And not only does he cut off the dead. 
tissue, dead branches, but he cuts off the living tissue as well. Because sometimes that living tissue is robbing us of spiritual vigor. They say the problem with the living sacrifice is that it doesn't stay on the altar. Because it's living, it's constantly rolling off the altar. But God has to cut some living tissue, praise God, to get us to the place where he wants us to be. Hallelujah. He performs spiritual surgery that removes what is bad. He also cuts away the good. Uh, you say it's good, God. Why are you taking away it's good? I want it. I want to hold on to it. Uh, he cuts away the better. Oh, my God. I want it's better, God. It's good, God. Let me hold on to it. Let me keep it, God. Bless the name of Jesus so we can enjoy the best. Hallelujah. He wants the best for you and I. Glory to God. So he constantly prunes us. Hallelujah. Pruning hurts, uh, but it helps uh, that we may enjoy. We may not enjoy it, but we need it. It's needful to be pruned. Don't think that we have arrived. Praise God. Don't think that we have reached. I have been saved. Let me speak for myself. Praise God. As someone would say, for donkey years. Praise God, and I'm here now, I'm married, I have children, and, and I have this, I have house and a car, and, and I can be called upon. No, I have not arrived, because there's better. It's good, <clears throat> praise God, but there's better. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Don't discount where you are in God. God has better for us. Praise God, and, and your years, for those of us who have been saved for a long time, our years of experience is for somebody else. Glory to God to bring them. Glory to God, they may be struggling with the issues of life, but because we are experienced, because we have been there and done that, praise God, it's needful for us to be here. Praise God, your age doesn't matter in the kingdom. Praise God, it's what you do for Christ that matters. Praise God, and we are here to bring somebody, to encourage somebody, to help somebody. As the writer said, my living will not be in vain. If I can help somebody as I go along, then my living, glory to God, you are still living to help somebody. I'm still living to help somebody. Praise God, and we are here, praise God, to help somebody as we go along. Praise God, and we get to verse 15. Praise God, verse 16. Praise God, it said, you did not choose me. Praise God, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Praise God. And I just want to remind us today, as the Spirit reminded me some weeks back, or months back, that I'm chosen. Praise God. I'm chosen. Hallelujah. Like it or not, I'm chosen. Oh, glory to God. It's because of God why I'm here. Not my good works. Not my good looks. Praise God. Not my intelligence. Not my money in the bank. Praise God, though little it may be, it's not that, it's not my career. Praise God, and I thank God for my career, but I'm not here because of that. I'm here because God has chosen me. Glory to God. When I look back over my life, and I see where God has brought me from, praise God, I had no clue when I was coming to this country. Praise God, the plan of God for my life. But I can say, look what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. When he planted me in 592 Howard Avenue, I can say, look what the Lord has done. Praise God. I didn't have anything. I didn't know anybody but God. Hallelujah. But God. But God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But God. Glory to God. You can, you can have the same testimony. And you probably have the same testimony where God has brought you from. Praise God. And where you are now, praise God. We can only testify and say it's the goodness of God. It's the mercies of God. It is the grace of God. Praise God why we are still here. We're still here. Hallelujah. 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 
Let's just praise him. Hallelujah. Let's just praise him for that. Hallelujah. He brought us uh, together. Praise God from Jamaica, from Trinidad, our various country. And he planted us here. Praise God within the triumph of ministry. But God, why did he choose us? And why did he put us together? Just like the disciples. Praise God. Uh, praise God. Memory fail at this time. But when he called Matthew, he said, come. Praise God. When he called the other, he said, come. Praise God. And the other one, he said, I saw you when you sit under the tree. Praise God. He didn't believe that God saw him. Oh, God. But after he found out that God really called him, he said, behold, a night's right in whom there is no call. God called us from the different walks of life. He called Thomas. Glory to God. Doubting as he may be, he called him. Praise God. He called Judas. Betrayer as he may be, but he called him. Glory to God with his flaws and imperfection. Praise God. God call us. Praise God just as he called his disciples. Praise God. We are chosen. Saints of God, don't take it light. Don't take it light. Do not take it light. Do not diminish the fact that you are chosen. Praise God. I may not be able to preach. Hey, my favorite preacher, Pastor Watson. I love my bishop, but she my, she my, she my, she my girl. She my preacher. Praise the God. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. And if anything, I knew her first, so it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I may not be able. I love the way that she preached, but that's the anointing of God on her life. And I thank God. And I can sit and I can listen. Praise God. My Godson. I bless God for him. I bless God for him. Praise God. When he preached, my soul happy. Praise God. I bless God for him. But I'm doing what the Lord will allow me to do. Praise the name of Jesus. Because he chose me. Hallelujah. He chose me. Praise the name of Jesus. So do what he chose you to do. Hallelujah to the will of God. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. The scripture is clear in its meaning. I chose you. Why did I choose you? That he may bear fruit. That whatever you ask the Father in my name, you would have it. I chose you for purpose. I chose you to impact the world. Praise God, I chose you. Hallelujah, I'm glad that he chose me. Praise God, praise God. It is God who approaches us and he draws us. It is God who appoints us to live for him and to serve him. Praise God, serve God, saints. Whatever you do, serve him. Do it wholeheartedly. As the scripture said, do it without murmuring. Do it without grumbling. Do it without complaining. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. And every member of the body of Christ have significance. We have significance. Praise God. The musician, they impact the service. Without them, we feel dwarf. It's a missing link. So they have significance. Praise God. The ushers, they have significance in the body of Christ. Praise God. Directing. Praise God. And ministering. Those who cook and those who clean, don't complain. Do it to the glory of God. Praise God. There are some Martha's. Praise God. And there are some Mary's. The Mary's will sit at the feet of Jesus. And that's their uh, responsibility. That's what they're called to do, to sit at the feet of Jesus. But don't um, envy M Mary for sitting at the feet of Jesus because that's what she needs. But Martha, praise God, she's there to care. Praise God, and to tend. And that's what she's called to do. Praise God, and together, praise God, we make up the body of Christ. We become a, a whole. We become one. Praise God, when we all function in our calling and the capacity in which God has ordained us. Praise God, we all make up the body of Christ. Some of us can sing and sing to the glory of God. Praise God, some of us can preach, as I said before, preach to the glory of God. Praise God, whatever you do, 
do it to the glory of God because God called you. Yes. Hallelujah. We're called for three specific purposes. To be ambassadors for Christ. To be a fruit and to receive, praise the name of Jesus, the things of God. Praise God. And Miles, Miles Monroe, the late Miles Monroe said, your destiny is chosen by God. Your future is certain. Whether you arrive there is up to you. He also said, I don't have it written here. I'm going to try to recall from memory. That the graveyard is the richest place in earth, on the earth. The graveyard. Why he said that? He says there's so many giftings and callings that were never materialized. And people went to their grave with the gifting that God has given them. Praise God. Gifting for business, money management, to impact the world and society. They never act upon it. And they took it to their grave. Praise God. Let's act upon the gift and the calling that God has placed in us, children of God. Praise God. Don't go to your grave with it. Whatever God has chosen you to do, do it to the glory of God. Bless the name of Jesus. God chose you before the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. Before the foundation of the world, you and I were chosen. Praise God. He has a plan. Praise God and an incredible destiny for you. Whether you arrive or there, it's entirely, as I said before, up to us. Glory to God, up to us, it's up to us, it's up to us. It is up to us. Praise God. The scripture shows us one story after another that all men and women of God were asked to carry out challenging assignment. God chose them to do something that exceeded their aptitude, their skills, and capabilities. But they were able to do great exploits for God because they said yes, and they allowed God to work through them. Praise God. They had to believe even when all circumstances in their lives were exactly the opposite of what God had previously spoken to them. They had to trust that all the evidence against them, praise God, will actually work out for their good. Praise God. I recall Abraham. When God called him, he had to leave his family, leave his household, leave everybody. Praise God. God said, I'll make you a father of many nations. Praise God. But how was that possible? He didn't have a child. Praise God. And he was old in age and, and the deadness of Sarah's womb. But God, hallelujah, when God called you, praise God, the situation looks impossible. But God will work it out. He has already worked it out. Praise God. In Jeremiah 29, 11, he said, I know the plans. Praise God. I have for you plans to prosper you, to give you a future and a hope. Though it may look impossible, but go with God. You cannot fail. Go with God. You cannot fail. Praise God. In Jeremiah Praise the name of Jesus. One, I'll just read a few, praise God, verses there. I hope not to take up too much of your time. I know you want to go and celebrate with your father, so I'll try my best. Praise God. I'll cut it, I'll cut it if I have to. Praise God. Then the word of the Lord came to me saying, Behold, uh, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nation. Then said I, Lord God. Behold, I cannot speak, for I'm a youth. Praise God, giving excuses. What well, we, we do it. Not just Jeremiah, I do it. I make excuses. They ask me to preach, I said no. <laughs> Glory to God, I'm confessing. Confession, praise God. They ask me to do it, no. Because it's outside of my comfort zone. Praise God. But the, the Lord said to me, do not say I am a youth. For you shall go to all whom I send you, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have said, praise God, see, I have this day set you over the nations and over kingdom to root up and to pull down to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. Here is Jeremiah. He said, I'm young. I'm too young for this assignment, God. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. I can't speak. 
oh, my, he, might, he might feel like Moses, he might stutter, but God said, glory, I see I have set you over the nation oh, and over the kingdom to root up and to pull down, praise God, to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. You can, because God has chosen you. I can, because God has chosen us. And we look at the life of Gideon, praise God, when the angel come to him, praise God, what he said, a mighty man of valor, uh, he looked at him, he started to say, if I'm a mighty man of valor, why are we suffering? Where are the miracles? Where are the deliverance that our fathers told us about? Uh, but the angels continue. He disregarded the negativity. Sometimes we can be very negative. Praise God. When God calls us to do something, we become very negative. Praise God. When God has um, commissioned us and ordained us to do something, we can be very negative. The human nature. Praise God. Praise God. They said, go in this might of yearns. Uh, Gideon started again. He said, my clan is the might. What might are you talking about, God? What might? My clan is the weakest in Manhasset. And I'm the least in my father's house. The father had 71 children and he was the 71st. Praise God. So he was down there at the bottom. So was David. Praise God. When, when uh, God said to Samuel, go and anoint uh, just his son, praise God. They didn't even call him to the affair, praise God. But they all refused to pour. Hallelujah. When God shows you, nothing can stop it. No family, no foe, nothing can stop it. Oh, uh, they all refused to pour. Samuel said, I know I heard from God. God, tell me we had a conversation about this. You know, Samuel said to God, if, if, if Saul see me going down to Jesse's house, praise God, he's going to cut my head off. I'm paraphrasing now. He's going to do harm to me. God said, go. Praise God, go to sacrifice. So there is a son in Jesse's house to be anointed as king. Glory to God. So they all refused to pour. Glory to God. He said, don't you have another son? Don't you? Yes, he's out in the field. He's keeping the sheep. Go call him. Oh, God, Bishop, uh, Bishop Strong, he preached a message. Praise God. I'm, I, I, let me mess it up now. Praise God. I'm not next. I'm not first, but I'm next in line. Something to that effect. Praise God. He bring you from the back. Glory to God. He bring you from the back. Uh, Deacon Thompson, he'll bring you from the back. He's got work for you. He'll bring you from the back. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. He'll bring you. Oh, my God, I can't see who's sitting there, but he'll bring you forward because he's got work for you to do. Hallelujah. My God in heaven, Jesus. Deacon Brown, there's work to be done. Deacon Dallas, work to be done. Oh, glory to God, where are you hiding? Oh, I hear the spirit. It's not in my notes. So I hear the spirit. Where are you hiding? My God, the spirit is looking for you. Ah, oh, can he find you? Jesus, can he find you? Oh, my God, Cleveland. Brother Cleveland, can he find you? Oh, God, there's work to be done. Oh, glory to God. Jesus. Jesus, he's chosen you. Hmm. You're chosen. You're man, you're chosen. I don't know your name, but you're chosen by God. Hallelujah. You're chosen. Ah, uh, Judah, God call your son. Oh, glory to God. Don't diminish the calling. Nurture the calling. Oh, my God, my God, my God. God has called us. Hallelujah. And he had to bring him in from the field. Come. Come. Glory to God. Come, Jesus, come. Oh, God, come up higher. Oh, Jesus, come. Oh, God, come. Jesus, come. Children of God, come. Saints of God, come. Oh, God, I know it's rough. Oh, God, I know it's hard. Life's challenges. Oh, God, my God, but come. Never mind, come. Jesus, how can I? How can I? But God can. He will allow him to work through you. 
Allow him to use you. Oh, God Almighty, allow him to have his way in you. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Come. You're chosen. Come. Come. You're chosen. His work for you to do. No longer hide. Oh God. No longer hide. No longer complain. No longer say I can't. I'm speaking for myself as well. Oh glory to God. No longer. Oh God, allow him. The anointing. The oil. It flowed freely. Hallelujah over the servant of God. Because God has chosen him. Praise God. I'm just going to make it short. Praise God. In this post-pandemic era, praise God, let us make ourselves available to God. Don't think it's strange that God has placed us here. Every one of us sitting under the sound of my voice, God has brought us here for purpose. Don't say, as Gideon, I'm the weakest. Praise God. The weakest clan, I'm the least. Don't say that anymore. Say, yes, Lord. Thank you for choosing me. Work through me. Develop that life of abiding in Christ, and he will use you. Praise God for his glory. Praise God. Praise God. In this post-pandemic era, praise God, it's time for us to move from call to chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. Glory to God. I'm going to cut it short. Praise God. Just to talk a little bit about the fruit. Praise God. There are four stages of fruit. And it's important that we, as I understand it, four stages of fruit. No fruit. Fruit. And it's in the same um, St. John 15, verse 2 and verse 5. So no fruit. Fruit. More fruit, much fruit. No fruit, fruit. More fruit, much fruit. Praise God. So the branch that does not bear fruit, they take it, they throw it in the heap, and they burn it. The branch that bears fruit, the father prunes it and purges it. That it will bring forth more fruit. Praise God. And in verse 5, to the end, that we will bring forth much fruit. Praise God. So what fruit station are you today? Praise God. Do not stay at no fruit. Praise God. Because the Father can't use you. If you're not producing fruit, the Father can't use you. He'll have to throw you away. Praise God. But if there's fruit, he will purge you. Praise God. You're viable. Praise God. You are viable. Praise God. When a, a woman is pregnant and she's miscarrying, under 20 weeks, they don't do anything because they say the fetus is not viable. But if she's 24 weeks in pregnancy, they will work and try to keep that child alive because they say it's viable. But no fruit is not viable. Praise God. You can't salvage what you don't have. But if you have a one fruit, one cluster of grape, two, there's a possibility that you can grow, blame, blossom, and have more. Praise God, so you can have more fruit. And when he purges you, praise God, praise God, and prunes you, praise God, and water you, and you abide in the word, you meditate on the word of God, you pray and you worship and you fast, uh, you will bring forth more fruit. Hallelujah. And to the end, you will have much fruit. Praise God, I have a plant at home. I will not throw it away. I call it my comeback kid. My combat plant, the plant was dry and withered, but I watered it. For some reason, I said, I'm not throwing it away. And I watered it, and I watered it, and you see it now. So when the word of God water you, praise God, you will grow. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You will grow, we will grow. Hallelujah, when we are fertilized with the word of God, hallelujah, we will, we will grow. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. In our overscheduled lives, 
We find it difficult to slow down, to read the Bible, to listen to what God is saying. Sometimes just rest and just listen. Just rest in God and listen to what he's saying. And sometimes when we go in prayer, praise God, we have a litany, a laundry list of to do, to do, to do. God, I want, I want, I need, I want, I want, I need, I want, I want, I need. Praise God. I'm learning when I go. I'm here, Lord. I'm listening. What are you saying to me today? And just to sit quiet so he can speak into us. Praise God. We're always talking. And we're so busy. We got to get it done. I got to get to work. I got to feed the kids. I got to do the laundry. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. But just learning to sit quiet and listen. God, what are you saying in your scriptures to me? What do you want me to know today? How should I direct my, uh, my conversation today? Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the holy name of Jesus. Bless his holy name. We give honor and praise to the most high God. I'm trying to cut it short. I'm trying to cut it short. Praise God. And we talk about the fruit. Talking about the fruit. So I told you about the stages of fruit. There are three types of fruit the scripture depicts here. Praise God. When it's a bare fruit and your fruit shall remain. A lot of times we only zero in on the harvest. Yes, the harvest is one type of fruit. Praise God. But the fruit also, a fruit of holiness. Fruit of righteousness. Praise God. To develop in our lives. So that's another fruit. So I may not be able to go there and say go. And, and the word, praise God, fell on good ground and it bring forth a harvest a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, thirtyfold, fortyfold, fold, tenfold. Praise God, that's the fruit of the harvest. But what about the fruit of holiness, holy living, righteous living? That's the fruit that we need to bear as also. Praise God, and the fruit of the Spirit in Galatians 5, 21, 22. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Love. Joy, peace, meekness, long suffering, kindness, gentleness. Praise God. Some of those fruit, praise God, we're missing. Oh, glory to God. I was listening to the radio and they're saying, I'm doing, I'm helping you. And I'm doing, you know, she was sharing, she was doing something for her husband, but the, no, her mother actually. But the way she was doing it is like, I'm doing it, but you need to know that I'm doing it for you, and you need to just get in line and do what I tell you to do. But the way we're not doing it in gentleness and in kindness, and that's a fruit. That's a fruit. Some people outside, praise God, outside the will of God, they just need to know that somebody loved them, somebody cared for them, they're hurting, they're broken, they're in pain, they need, just need a gentle touch. Praise God, praise God, a word of kindness, a word of comfort, and a word of cheer. So we need to make sure that we're bearing fruit, praise God, in the stages, praise God, of fruit. Bless the name of Jesus. As chosen people of God, praise God, we need to take time and stand firm in our faith and remind ourselves that God has chosen us to impact purpose and destiny. Praise God. God has chosen us. We're here. And I, I, I'm going back to that again. Post-pandemic, we have work to do. The amount of people that died, praise God. Not praise God that they died, but the amount of people that died around us, family, friends, co-workers. In this body, we don't have any member that died. Not one of our members from this local church died. Many of us had COVID, but none died. We all recovered. And by the grace of God, we're doing well. So we're thankful to God for that. But why did he kept us? Why? Why? There's work for us to do. So saints of God, let us come together. Praise God. Stop the excuse. Stop the murmuring, the grumbling, and complaining. When I'm, when I'm tempted to murmur, when I'm tempted, because we do get tempted, when I'm tempted to grumble and complain, I now turn it into a prayer. Lord, help me to understand. Help me to understand. Because yes, I don't understand everything and it could be done this way. But 
God has chosen it to be done that way. So because God say that way, I got to bring myself that way. Because that's the way God wants it to be done. Praise God. We have done things in the past, and we have to do it differently. Praise God. This is post-pandemic. So we can't go back to the way things used to be. And guess what? God don't want us to go back to the way things used to be. Because the world is moving. Praise God. The world is moving at full speed ahead. So we have to catch up, to catch them, to impact them. Praise the name of Jesus. To let them know, praise God, that God is good. That God can save them. Praise God. There's so many challenges. Praise God out there. Time would fail me to get into it. Praise God. But we are chosen to impact. We are chosen for purpose. We are chosen for destiny. Sister Sonia, you're still here. There's work for you to do. Glory to God. Evangelist Klingon, I know you have challenges, but there's still work for you to do. Keep working. Those on the, you, you're on the prayer line, keep praying. There's a, there's a need. Praise God. So do what God allow you to do. Praise God. Sister Lewin, you're still here. God chose you to be here. There's still work for you to do. You're not finished yet. Sister Bartley, praise God. Mother Roman, you're not finished yet. Praise God. There's work for, to be done. There's work that you can do. So be encouraged. Oh, glory to God. And seek him, Mother Douglas. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Seek God for the work that he has attained and chosen you to do. Men of God, fathers, you've been chosen to impact the lives of your children. They may be grown. Praise God, Brother Nelman, Brother Foster, Brother Thompson. But you're still chosen to impact their lives. Praise God. And the role has changed from um, nurturing to mentoring. Praise God. So we're not done. Praise God. We're not done. We may not have birth children, but we're not done. Praise God. And so let us do what the Lord has called us to do to impact our world, our community, our neighbor. Praise God. Our neighbors is not just those that share our zip code. Praise God. But our neighbors are those that we meet in the supermarket, on the subway, in the street, and wherever we go. Those are our neighbors. Praise God. Praise God. As chosen children of God, recognize our limitation. Know that we're depending upon God and stay in the, vine, in the vine. Abide in God. Abide in the word of God. Honor the presence of God. Let go of your idols. Trust God and not numbers. We may look, we don't have the numbers, but trust God. He knows how to do it. Hallelujah. He knows how to multiply. Hallelujah. Praise God. If he can feed, I'm trying to hurry. Praise God. If he can feed 5,000 men and children and have leftovers, two fish, five loaves, he knows how to multiply. He knows how to multiply. Hallelujah. So trust God, not numbers. Trust God, not the numbers. Don't say we're weak and we're feeble and we can't do it. Praise God. We're flaws and we have flawed and we have imperfection. But God, praise God, trust God in the place of rest. And when you trust him, you rest for him to do it. Praise God. When Gideon went down and he heard a story, praise God, and, and they're talking about Gideon, he, 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 he muster up some courage and he realized and understand that God's got this. Hallelujah. God has got this. I don't have to do anything. I just got to do what he tell me to do. Praise God. And as the children of Israel, praise God, as Balak, Balak trying to get Balaam to curse them, God tell them, whom I bless, no man, no man curse. And he go up, he go down, he go sideways, he go everywhere. And he tell them, didn't I tell you who I bless? Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Glory to God, whom God bless, no man curse. 
Praise God. And it, uh, Balaam could not curse no matter how much Balak was trying to give him. But you know what cursed them? They can curse themselves. Their disobedience caused them to fall into bondage and captivity. So let's not be disobedient to the word of God. Stay obedient to God. Stay humble. Praise God. Pray that God will give us the grace not only to understand that we have been chosen, but also to realize what we've been chosen for. We're not all chosen for the same thing. But to realize what we have been chosen for. May we become more and more aware of the calling of God that is over our life and have the strength and the capacity to fulfill it. Praise God. Just stand with me. I'm closing. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your word unto your people and me. Oh, God, thank you, Lord, for, oh, God, speaking to us on today. Father, as you have chosen us and you have appointed us, oh, God, for such a time as this to impact our world, oh, God, to lead the loss, oh, God, to the cross, to build, oh, God, I pray, God, that the eyes of our understanding be open. Uh, I pray, God, that we will have courage, God, to know that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above which we can ask or think by your power that is at work in us, God. I pray that we will be committed, oh God, to the cause, oh God, to the work that you have called us to do. Oh, God, I pray that we will step boldly forward. Oh, God, and no longer delay. Oh, God, no longer delay, but step boldly forward and do the work. Hallelujah, God. Have your way in us, God. Bless us even now, I pray. Hallelujah, God, and have your way in us. Oh, God, I pray for the fathers even now, God, that you will strengthen their hands, strengthen their feet. Oh, God, cover and protect them. Provide for them, God, whatever they're missing, whatever they're in need of. Oh, God, I pray that you will provide it, that they will be the father that you have called them to be. Oh, God, and those in the listening audience, oh, God, I pray, God, that they too will experience the fullness of your glory, that they will walk in courage and in boldness, oh God, and in strength, knowing that you are guiding, that you are leading, oh God, and that with you all things are possible, oh God, that nothing is impossible for you, God, and that you can do all things. Hallelujah, Lord, I thank you. I praise you even now. Bless your people. Prosper your people. Hallelujah. And lift us up above the shadow, Father God, that we will go forward, God, to conquer, oh God, and to propagate the gospel of Jesus Christ and let the world know that Jesus lives and that there is a Savior. Hallelujah. And he can save and he can heal. We thank you. Praise God. And we praise your holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just want to say this scripture over us. Uh, But we are a chosen generation. Glory to God. We are a royal priesthood. We are a holy nation. Uh, God has put us together. God's special people. That we may proclaim the praises of him who called us uh, out of darkness into his marvelous light. Uh, Let me say it one more time. We are. We are. Ah, uh, First Peter two nine, a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, uh, God's own special people. Go forth and proclaim the praises of God, Him who has called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. God bless and keep you. I love you with the love of the Lord. Let us go forth and impact our world for Jesus. Hallelujah. you're not saved and you want to come to Jesus, I want you to say this with me. Dear Jesus, 
Nothing in my hands I bring, but simply to the cross I cling. I come to you as I am because you accept me as I am. I confess that I'm a sinner, but you are the one that can wash away my sins. So I ask today, Lord, that you wash me, cleanse me, make me whole, and I come into your kingdom in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, it's offering time in the house. I'm going to ask everyone to grab your offering. Amen. It's time to give in the house. Time to give, time to give. And if you have your offering, we got your offering. Remember, billion is spelled with a B, B I L L I O N. Million with an M, M I L L I O N. Amen. Amen. All right, stand to your feet if you have your offering. Everyone excited to give in the house. We're going to give our declaration, do our declaration this afternoon. As I move towards a triumphant life. Everyone have the offering. Okay, lift up your offering. As I move towards a triumphant life. As I move towards a triumphant life. I accept every. I accept every. Heavenly idea. Heavenly supernatural concept and supernatural concept that God has that God has to lead me to my destiny to lead me to my destiny I sow triumphantly I sow triumphantly I reap triumphantly I reap triumphantly I give triumphantly I give triumphantly I live triumphantly I live triumphantly Amen may your store baskets be filled as you give in the house Amen. this afternoon Amen. let's give everybody let's give off all ushers all right, let's give in the house. Amen. Hallelujah. We're trading our sorrows. We're trading our shame. We're trading our pain, our sickness, all for the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. And we say yes to your will, yes to your way. Hallelujah. And I'm trading, I'm trading my sorrow. Training my shame. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. I'm training all my sickness and pain. I'm trading my sickness. I'm training my pain. I'm trading my pain. I'm laying them down. I'm laying them down for the joy.
strong, love loud, be triumphant, be bold, be strong, love loud, be triumphant. Be a